I'm going to ask you guys two questions involving radicals, and one of them is going to be tricky, the other one is going to be easy. So check this out. For the first one, I would like you guys to compute square root of 16. Okay? And then for the second one, I would like to ask you guys to simplify square root of x to the 16th power. So just go ahead and pause the video and think about what the answers are and then drop it down below. You did? Good. Okay, which one's the easy one? This. Yes, of course. Square root of 16 is equal to what? 4. Good. That's it. This is the easy one and the answer is just equal to 4. Hmm, how about for the second one? We'll have the 16 here. So is the answer just x to the fourth power right here? Nope. This right here is the tricky one. The answer is not x to the fourth power. So what's the answer though? Well, before I tell you guys the answer, let's talk about why the answer for this right here is equal to 4. The answer for this is equal to 4 because when we have 4 times 4, this right here gives us 16, which is exactly what we want. 4 is the answer, no problem. But wait, how about negative 4? Because we notice that when we have negative 4 times negative 4, this right here also gives us 16. So why don't we say square root of 16 is also negative 4. Well, I agree with this right here, but when we are computing square root numbers, the output is defined to be just the positive answer. So in this case, the answer is just positive 4. We do not, I, I cannot really cross out, right? Do not say uh, this is true, this is okay, but do not say square root of 16 is equal to negative 4. Don't do that. This right here is not correct, all right? Because when we're just doing computation, we just want to have one output for the answer. Okay, so why is the answer not x to the 4 though? Well, we have to think about it. The answer this is not x to the 4 is because, you see, if you check it, if we do x to the fourth power times x to the fourth power, what exactly do we have to do with the exponents? Yes, we will have to add them up. And when we do, this is x to the eight. We don't get x to the 16. That's why x to the fourth power is not correct. So what is the answer though? Well, we will just have to think about what plus itself gives us 16. 8. We'll just have to divide it by 2. So for this right here, the answer is actually just x to the 8. And I'll just tell you because x to the 8 times x to the 8, we add them up, we do get the x to the 16. So this right here is the answer. In general, this is how we simplify when we have any radical and also some power inside. Let me give you guys the complete version for this. If we have the following, nth root, right, nth root. And let's say we have the x inside and we have some m's power like this. This right here, the way to simplify is, you take this and you divide it by that in the exponents. So we get x to the m over nth power like so. And another note I want to tell you is that when we have the square root, this means the radical right, has the n value, the, that's called index, 2. All right? So the quick way to get x to the 8 is we can look at this and say this is just equal to x to the 16, and then we divide it by 2, and that's how we get the x to the 8. All right? So hopefully this right here helps and you, know, you guys understand how to simplify radical with like exponents inside and then also this is like an introduction to rational exponents. If you guys need more help, check out my other videos for this. That's it.